Hey everyone, in this lesson video, we are multiplying fractions and we're gonna do it with two different strategies. We're first going to multiply fractions by just simply multiplying straight across and then simplifying. And then in the second half, we're going to simplify what we can first and then multiply. No matter what, we're gonna get the same answer. It just depends what you wanna do first. So in this first strategy, it says multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators. You see, when we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across, okay? Numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. And then we just get our answer and that's our new fraction. But after we do that, we need to then simplify our answer. We need to make an equivalent fraction in its simplest form. So in this first problem, 9 eighths times 4 thirds. I simply multiply straight across. 9 times 4 is 36. 8 times 3 is 24. So again, let me show you. All you do to multiply fractions is you multiply numerator to numerator. 9 times 4 is 36. 8 times 3, 8 times 3 is 24. And look, I have a brand new fraction. Now, 36 over 24, we could definitely simplify that. And remember, when you're simplifying, you want to simplify down using the greatest common factor. Now, I could look at 36 and 24 and say, hey, they're both divisible by 2, but it's not the greatest. I could divide them both by 3, but it's not the greatest. 4, 6, there's actually a factor that's even bigger. Okay, and that factor that they both have in common is 12. Now, if you're like, I would not have thought of 12, and you pick a smaller number like 2 or 3 or 4 or 6, what you'll find is that the fraction you're left with, you can still simplify down further. And when you do that, it'll be the same answer that we're about to get right now. So 36 divided by 12 is 3, and 24 divided by 12 is 2. And so my answer is 3 halves. So 9 eighths times 4 thirds gets me 3 over 2. Let's take a look at some practice together. I'm going to do the problems on the left with you, and then I'm going to reveal the problems on the right, and you're going to do those on your own, and then you're going to check your answers. All right, so 2 fifths times 1 eighth. So we multiply straight across. 2 times 1 is 2. 5 times 8 is 40. Can I simplify 2 40 -ths? Absolutely. We can simplify both of them by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 40 divided by 2 is 20. So my answer is 1 20th. 8 fifths times 4 fourteenths. 8 times 4 is 32. 5 times 14 is 70. I could divide both of these by 2, and 32 divided by 2 is 16, and 70 divided by 2 is 35. Now, one of the key ways to know that you did simplify it completely, that 2 was the greatest common factor of 32 and 70, is look at the result, 16 and 35. They don't have any common factors. Your factor is of 16 besides 1, and we don't care about 1, because if I divide by 1, I get the same answer. 2, 4, 8, 16, 35 is 5, 7, 35. So I know that 16 35ths is my final answer and that 2 was as far as I could go. 15 6 over 1 tenth. So 15 times 1 is 15. 6 times 10 is 60. 15 out of 60, you should think of like 15 minutes out of 60 minutes on the clock. That would be, I could divide them both by 15 and that would be 1 fourth. Okay, I divide them both by 15. All right, over here on the right, I'm going to give you a moment to pause. I want you to try these out. If you need to do a little side math for any of your multiplication, go for it. And then press play when you're ready to check your answers. Ready? Go. All right, hopefully you're joining me back after pressing play to check your answers. Let's take a look. 3 times 9 is 27. 12 times 8 is 96. They are both divisible by, if you said three, you are correct. And that would give me nine over 32. 16 times seven, so that one may have to do a little pencil and paper math on the side, is 112 over 22. They are both divisible by two, and we should get 56 over 11. Two fifths times five thirteenths, multiply straight across. Two times five is 10. Five times 13 is 65. Those are both divisible by 5, and if I divide them both by 5, I get 2 thirteenths. Awesome. I hope you did well. 
In the second half of this lesson, we're going to go ahead and we're going to learn how to simplify first now. So I could look at fractions and you see I have them already crossed out and that'll be a little spoiler, but it's okay. It says cross simplify each numerator and denominator pair when possible and then multiply the simplified fractions. So I could multiply this straight across. In fact, this is actually the same exact problem as the problem that I did first in the video with you. But I could cross simplify. And what cross simplify means is find a numerator and denominator pair. They could be within the fraction themselves. They could be diagonal to each other and see if you can simplify them. So for example, this numerator of nine and this denominator of three, I put lines through both of them, not to cross them out as if they don't exist anymore, but to really show that I'm simplifying the fraction of nine over three. Nine and three are both divisible by three. So if I divide nine by three, it's going to become a three. And if I divide three by three, it would become a one. And so now I'm working with way smaller numbers. Look at the other diagonal cross pair, four over eight. What are four and eight also divisible by? They're divisible by four. So if I divide four by four, I'm gonna be left with a one. And if I divide eight by four, I'm left with two. And now look at the numbers I'm left with. They are way smaller. Instead of nine eighths, I'm left with three over two. Instead of four over three, I'm left with one over one. And three halves times one over one is just three halves. And notice that's the exact answer that I got when I multiplied straight across and then simplified. So that's the moral of this lesson. You can multiply and then simplify, or you can cross simplify first and then multiply the, what you have left over. Okay, so now in this next set, I'm going to do the first three problems with you, and then I'm going to leave you to do the last three on your own. Five six times two sevenths. So I can't cross simplify five sevenths. You can see that I didn't put any lines there. Um, but I can simplify two six. Two six are both divisible by two. And so if I divide both of them by two, two divided by two is one. Six divided by two is three. And if I multiply straight across what I'm left with, five times one is five. Three times seven is 21. Next one, you can see I cross simplified my six and my 18. Six and 18 are both divisible by six. Six divided by six is one. 18 divided by six is three. I'm gonna multiply what I have left. One times two is two. Three times three gets me nine. So my answer is two ninths. And my last one here, you can see I cross out everything. So there's a few things that are gonna happen here. Okay, 15 over 10. So 15 and 10 cross simplify by five. 15 divided by five is three. 10 divided by five is two. Eight and six are both divisible by two. 8 divided by 2 is 4, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. Now, what you'll notice here is I actually crossed out the 3s of my simplifying because 3 over 3 in the fraction, don't forget, you can always simplify within the fraction itself. 3 over 3 is just 1 over 1. And so I'm left with 1 times 4 is 4, and 1 times 5 is 5. Now, if you were to say to me, hey, what about the previous problem? Isn't 6 over 3 just 2 over 1? Yes, you could do that too. Isn't 15 over six, could I divide both of those by three or eight over 10, divide both of those by two? Absolutely. There's so many different ways to do this strategy in different orders. So now I'm leaving you with these three problems. I'm gonna encourage you to press pause. You can see I cross simplified everything. So everything is able to be cross simplified and then you're gonna get your answer. Go ahead, press pause and then play, press play when you're ready, go. All right, hopefully you press play and you're ready to check your answers. 30 and 15 divide by 15, so that becomes two over one. Six and 10 divide by two, so that becomes three over five. Two times three is six, five times one is five. Next one, 16 divides by two, so 16 divided by two is eight. Two divided by two is one. Eight over six divide both by two also. So that would become four over three. Eight times four is 32. Three times one is three. And the last one, 22 over 33 divided by 11. So that becomes two over three. 15 over nine, both divide by three, which would become five over three. And then two times five is 10, and three times three is nine. 
I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.